In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to set up your to-do list. So back into BusyCal, first thing you're going to do is click on File. You're going to select New Calendar on your cloud because you want it to sync amongst all your devices. And then you're going to select on New To-Do Calendar. And that's going to pop in a new calendar over here in which you can change the name to anything you want. So I'm going to get rid of that one just because we're not going to use that one. I already have one set up here, and I have it labeled soon. I've set up another one, and I've labeled it this week. And I've set up another, and I've labeled it today. And you'll notice that I've color-coded these. Soon is yellow, which means, hey, caution, we need to get to that eventually here. This week is green, which is in my head it signals go so we want to make sure that we go get these things done and then today is red which for me means emergency priority this is urgent so I've I've got these set up here I want to ensure that the soon calendar is my default to do calendar so I'm going to come in here go to busy Cal preferences click on to do's and then all of your to-do calendars will show up here. I've got several of them set up for the sake of this tutorial and my own personal use. But for the sake of this, I'm gonna click soon and that's what we want. And I want yours to look like that as well. And sort to-do list by calendar. And this is important and that's gonna sort things over here and I'll show you why that's important in a few minutes. And we'll go ahead and click out of that. So I'm gonna turn these on. And what I want to show you is, actually, before I turn those on, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click File, New To Do, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command K, and it'll automatically open up a to do in today's date. So I'm going to go ahead and say, um, Draft Design Plans. And I'm going to go ahead and click enter. So that gives it a to-do date of today, that new to-do right there. And because I clicked a new to-do, it automatically turned that calendar on, which gave this the check mark. I don't really have a due date for these design plans, so I'm going to come over here and uncheck the due date, which basically just means it needs to be done soon. If you look over here, you'll see my entire soon list. So what soon means to me, why I've, I've named it that, is if something just comes up and I remember, oh my gosh, I knew I need to do this, and there's not any real priority to it, or I just want to get it out of my head and on paper or onto my to-do list so that I don't forget it, I put it over here. So anything that is just automatically added to my calendar is going to show up yellow and it's going to be labeled under the soon category. Now, every Sunday before I go to bed at night, I look at my big long yellow list here and usually it's much, much longer than this. I just threw some things in here for the sake of this tutorial. But I look at these items and say, okay, now which of these needs to be done this week? I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this week to show you what that looks like. Whoops. All right. So now that my this week calendar is on, I look at this and go, okay, hmm. I need to call Kim about that flight this week. So I'm gonna come down here and change the calendar to this week. See how that just popped up? So now that's there. Hmm, what else needs to be done this week? Oh boy, I definitely need to pay rent. I can't forget about that, I'll get penalized. So now I don't have to necessarily go on here and change the calendar. I can just drag and drop it now that this is showing up. If it doesn't show up, just change it down here and it will. Um, hmm, let's see, I need to email Sarah about the video. And I, I do need to do these design plans this week. Okay, so I have a few things on here. Five, six, seven items tops is all I wanna see here. If you start to try to accomplish too much in the course of a week, you may be overloaded. What usually happens is you don't really have anything going on throughout the course of the week 
once Sunday arrives and you think, oh, my God, I'm going to get all this stuff done this week. And Tuesday happens and there's an emergency and it needs your attention. It takes your whole day. And all this stuff starts to get pushed back. And then by Friday, you think, oh, my gosh, I didn't get anything accomplished. You look at this list and you didn't check anything off. And that's a defeating feeling. You want to set this up so that you're feeling successful and accomplished and you want to be able to power through this list and check things off. So you only move things here that are an absolute priority. If you power through these, you can always start digging into these things if you're feeling really productive. So only put a few here. So now, uh, it's been Sunday night, I've got these things here. Okay, I know these things need to get done this week. Now, what needs to be done tomorrow? And the reason I do this at night and I move it to the today list the night before is it's just a way to get my wheels turning and plan my day so that I don't really have to do very much thinking in the morning. When you do too much thinking in the morning, it starts to deplete your brain power. And the more decisions you have done before you even start the day, the more sharp and focused you'll be to actually start getting things on your list done. So I like to do my planning at night. That way, once I start the work day the next day, I can just get right to it. I already know what needs to be done, and I can start hammering away. So here, I'm going to say, okay, it's Sunday night. Ah, tomorrow. I need to call Kim about that flight tomorrow. I want to make sure that I get that done. So it's going to show up on my today list. And really, I'm doing this tutorial on a Tuesday, so it's showing up on my today list for Tuesday. But... For all intents and purposes, you see how that works. So in every single night, I go ahead and do that. I do it on Sunday night, I do it on Monday night. I figure out what I need to do the next day and I add it to my today list. That way, in the morning, when I wake up and I start my work day, I can look right at this and say, okay, oh, did I do it on the right, right one? Actually, it's supposed to be there. Sorry about that. I'm gonna get rid of, I have two today lists, I have my personal one and the one that I created for the tutorial. So there we go. Call Kim about the flight. So I'm going to make sure that that gets done. What else? Hmm. Um, I'm going to draft these design plans that needs to get done and I need to pay my rent. All that stuff needs to get done. That's important. Needs to be done tomorrow. So in the morning when I wake up, I look at this and go, oh, that's right. These are the things I need to do. Now, if I look at my to-do list and I know that I need to block time off of my schedule to get these things done, I can drag and drop these. So I'm going to go, this needs to be done tomorrow, and I know it's going to take me three hours. So I'm going to put it at 10 o'clock, and I'm going to extend that and make sure I have a three-hour time block to get that done. Simple as that. So you can drag and drop and move these around and use them to fit your needs and customize them for you. But the important thing here is to have this soon, this week, and today. So you can concentrate on simply the priorities. You can decide what can be delegated, what can wait, and, and really just concentrate your time on the things that are most important. And a little side note, I really, really, really want you to make sure that when you're doing this and scheduling your day and making your to-do list here, look at your week at large the whole week at a glance, and I want you to make sure that somewhere in this week you have blocked out time to do something for you. This doesn't need to be a calendar filled with work obligations and kid obligations and family obligations to where it's work, 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 all work and no play. Make sure somewhere on here you've scheduled yourself a facial or an hour at the driving range or nine holes of golf, or time to read a book, or time to take a bath, whatever it may be. Get that on your schedule so that when you're looking at your calendar, you can say, I've committed. It's in my calendar. It might as well be written in stone. It needs to get done. That is my time for me to recharge and recoup. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below or email me directly at Tanya at tanyarainier.com. That's T-O-N-Y-A-R-I-N-E-E-R. -E -E and I will see you in the next tutorial or in the next video. Thanks. Have a great day.